Okay, welcome to our training today. My name is Alvin Terry, and thank you for joining me here at I Choose My Economy. Now, this is the final installment of what I call Welsh Success Strategies versus Welsh Strategy. Now, if you've been following along with me, we talked about what is success. Well, the definition that my parents told me, if you want to have success, you got to go to school to get a good education. You've heard people say that. But when I look at people who are wealthy, they have businesses. And those businesses have very distinct characteristics. They're not sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorship is when you do all the work yourself. And so I wanted to be wealthy. So I copied and mimic the habits of wealthy people. So now, I have been in business now since 1987 when I first got my first license. I actually started practicing before that in 1986, but I got my first license to sell life insurance in 1987. God bless me. I was very successful at that company. I was able to leave my job after 18 months. But here's the deal. I'm not asking you to leave your job. I want to talk to you in this session about something I call stay inside of your box. Don't get out of the box too quick. Now, you've heard me talk about I live payday to Monday, and I was working for the cable TV company in Tacoma, Washington. Well, in that capacity, as a cable TV installer, I wasn't making very much money. I was making about $10 an hour. My wife was making another $10 an hour, and we had children. Well, I could have worked all the overtime I wanted to work, which would have given me additional income to help my family at that time. But when I first went in the insurance business, probably the first six months, I made very, very few sales, one here and there. I would have made a lot more money if I had been doing overtime at the cable company. But what my wife and I decided to do was stay inside the box. I stopped working all overtime at the cable company. I graduated college, so the additional time when I would get out of work from 6 o'clock to about 12, 30, 1 o'clock at night, I would go out at 6 and 8 o'clock every night, and I would do appointments with somebody trying to sell the insurance. And then around 10 o'clock to midnight, I and my business partners, we would sit down and we would talk about what went on in that day of being out, what we did, what each of us did. And we sat down and we'd work on training, learning and growing. Remember we talked about earlier, you got to grow all these things. So for about 18 months, I did this. But inside that box, I stayed. So I'm going to give you an example here. If you stay inside the box. Now, again, we were not making this much money at that time. I'm going to use today $75,000. Because $75,000 is what's called the medium household income in America today. If you break that down to 12 equal payments, that is $6,250 per month. If you're going to stay inside the box, you're going to have to have all of your expenses. That means your household debts, your reoccurring expenses, things like lights, gas, and water, household debts is your rent, your car payment, and all that, additional lifestyle, all this stuff you go out and eat to get your hair done. If you give charitable, I think you should. You need an emergency fund and you need a retirement fund. You need to keep all of that inside of your monthly payment of $6,250. And I'm going to suggest that you make that about $4,000 to $4,500 of that $6,250. Because if you've not been a part of my econ, you, all, you don't already know that they're going to take 25 to 30% of the money for taxes before you ever get it. So you can't count on the, do the dollars that's being taken out for taxes. You have to count on only what you bring home into your household. And then, of course, we know emergency is going to happen. But if you stay on your job, Work hard, stay inside that box. Then I like to talk about you need to get out on what I call get out on the green. And on the green, that's where you begin to build wealth at. See, that's where you start your part-time business. But make sure you start a part-time business that you're going to be working toward building leveraged income. No day one, you won't have leveraged income, but you want to get a part-time business that gives you the opportunity to build leveraged income. You want a part-time business that gives you the opportunity 
to build multiple streams of income. These must be income streams that work synergistically together so that you're not all over the place trying to figure out what are you doing. So you need a home-based business to give you leverage to income, multiple streams of income, and then you want to make sure whatever you're working on that you're going to build some residual income. Ladies and gentlemen, when you marketing and selling stuff, when you're out here working, I don't have anything against people who do uh, independent businesses. Man, there's a lot of them there. You know what they are. I go to my barbershop every week. But if they don't get haircuts every week, they don't make any money. But residual income is income that you did weeks, months, and even years ago in my case. And I'm still being paid on that income today. It's not that if I don't get a sale today, I won't have no money today. I have lots and most all my income has been residual income. Then, of course, you then have to learn the difference between various investments. Because everybody's going to tell you they got an investment idea to get you wealthy. Well, if you don't know the difference between one investment and the next, then yes, any of it sounds good, but will you get wealthy with it? Will it help you make money when you're not making money? Will your money make money for you? That has to be the question you ask and answer when you're looking at an investment. And then if you do all of these things correctly, one day, you're going to have what's called passive income. See, let's be very clear. Retirement is not an aid. Retirement is when you have enough passive income coming in that you do not work for. Income coming in from these other sources that allow you to live and enjoy the lifestyle you desire without having to go to work. See, if you stay in the box, and build your home-based business on the side. I believe any person that's listening to me today can be a millionaire. Now, if you're one of those people that say, yeah, but Adam, that's going to take too long. Well, let me ask you one question before we go. How long have you been trying already? See, we get this thing uh, uh, kind of confused that we listen to what's going on on social media. We believe everybody getting rich every day real quick. Yet, statistics does not bear that out. Statistics says that by retirement time, the U.S. Census Bureau said by retirement time, which is age 65 in most cases, is what the U.S. Census says, only 5% of the people in this country have enough income to maintain the quality of lifestyle they desire when they work. Now, remember, they started working in the early 20s. We went all the way to 65, and they get there, and now they struggle from that point forward, trying to figure out how to leave, because they didn't understand some things. If that sounds like you, if that's something you want to know more about, then let's have a conversation. You can reach out to me at trustalvincurry.com, or you can reach me on LinkedIn at trustalvincurry.me. And we can have a conversation. Simply having a conversation is how we don't. If it doesn't work for you, if it's not something you want to do, then I can understand that. But let's talk and let's see if this can work for you. Again, thank you for joining me here at iTunesBuyEconomy.com. My name is Alvin Kerr, and this has been a session on success strategy versus wealth strategies. Thank you for your time.